What's up guys, welcome back to Latin Chopsticks. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today is a special day because we're gonna be going to a restaurant that was recommended by one of our viewers. I believe it was two weeks ago, uh, a week before, actually I think it was three weeks ago because it was a week before the food challenge that we did. And um, they recommended two different places. Today we decided to go to one of them and it's gonna be Kabuki Sushi. So I was looking up this place and it's a contemporary Japanese cuisine restaurant and I'm really excited. It's a whole bunch of different types of sushis, um, but they really specialize like I guess to the core aspect of sushi. So they have like sashimi they have nigiri they have um, a whole bunch of different sushi rolls they have some different types of appetizers they have some chef specials and stuff like that fortunately today we're going on our own so we won't be ordering too much food but I do want to get maybe one or two rolls and I do want to try to get maybe one or two appetizers just to check the place out see if the place is really good or not because it's actually based on what I saw on the map it looks to be pretty close to Universal Studios, so it's actually a place that might be easily accessible for someone that's visiting the theme parks. So, really excited. I'm pretty hungry. I haven't had sushi in quite a while, to be honest, so I'm pretty happy that we're choosing this restaurant tonight. So let's go ahead and head over there. All right, guys, we finally made it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you guys, as soon as I went inside, as you guys saw a little bit in the beginning, like just the entrance, and as soon as I opened that door and I saw the way the restaurant was, this is like a really, at least at night, it's like a really, really fancy sushi place. And I was really shocked because I haven't seen a sushi place like that in a really long time. So we were originally gonna go inside and make a video, but two things, two issues that I ran into. One, it's really, really dark. And the other thing is, it is completely fully booked. There's no tables, nothing's available until like 9.30 at night and it's around seven o'clock right now. So I didn't know we had to try to make an appointment. Regardless, even if we would have been able to sit inside, it is so dark, I wouldn't have been able to see anything. So what we're gonna do, I don't wanna take the food all the way home because sushi is just best when it's right, like just made. So we're gonna have to try to do this in the car, uh, but yeah. So right now we're just waiting for our order. As Soon as we get it, we'll head to the car and we'll have ourselves a little bit of sushi. We ordered a miso soup. We ordered two different rolls. One's a buki buki. I mean, it's a kabuki sushi restaurant. So it's their special, uh, I guess, signature roll. And then I got a Hokkaido roll as well as an order of gyozas. Cause you guys already know, whenever I can order dumplings, I will. So honestly, the place was really, really, really nice. I uh, really surprising so hopefully the food is at least a fraction of how nice it looks so see you guys in a minute all right guys we are here we finally made it uh, they took about 20 to 25 minutes to actually give us the food so I'm about to open up the bags let's see what we got in there uh, this is the best I could do with the lighting but we'll just go ahead and check this out all right guys so we got our two bags right here we got our sushi bag and this one literally walked into the restaurant right when she was sealing it Go ahead and see if we can get that open. Excellent. So we got our Kabuki roll and our Hokkaido roll here. And it's cool, they actually wrote it. So you have the Hokkaido there. You have the Kabuki roll. Wow, that looks really good. That spicy tuna up top. Let's go ahead and put that down. We have a whole bunch of different sauces. We have wasabi, ginger, and soy sauce on the side. And then here for our two appetizers. Let's go ahead and open this up here. Ooh, that was best as I could. Oh wow, those are look really good. These are their gyoza dumplings. I don't know if that's saffron, I gotta check that out, but yep. Abby gyoza. So that's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. And of course, our nice little miso soup. All right guys, perfect. So the first thing we're gonna try, it's definitely gonna be the gyoza. I can't wait to try this out. All right, so first things first, these look really good. It looks like the dough they used was actually green, so it might be a little bit different. And that sauce is so creamy, I'm not really sure. Let's go ahead and place this down. Not really sure what that sauce is, but we're gonna go ahead and grab one of them. Sorry guys, there's a car leaving right behind me. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and do this. Right here. Right here. Ooh, that looks that really, looks really, really good. good. It's sticking it's onto sticking it. Onto it. All right, let's go ahead and try it out. Try it out. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and dig in. Mm. Definitely different, but that sauce 
It tastes like, like it's an avocado based sauce, man. Mm. It's also nutty and spicy. Let's go ahead and try to see what's inside of these dumplings. So there's one thing I want to show you guys. This is me being completely honest. It tastes good, but I'm very disappointed. There's literally like no filling in it. It's mostly dough. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. So if you guys can take a look at this right here, that's literally the only part that has dough in it. I'm sorry, that's the only part that has filling and then everything else is just dough. They're not bad, but it tastes really like the bottom doesn't really have a charred taste. It's actually really, really, really oily. Don't order those, honestly. I'm very disappointed. That sauce is delicious though. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get into the sushi now. Really excited. All right, so we got two different rolls here. We got the Hokkaido roll, and we also got the Buki Buki roll, which is their specialized roll inside there. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pull here the Hokkaido roll. Another thing I'm noticing is it's really good, but, or it looks really good actually. But the only thing I'm not liking is these are, I mean, this was pretty expensive for the amount of food that I got. In all honesty, I'm, I'm really disappointed at the amount of food that we get. So hopefully, so far I'm disappointed because of the way that the, the dumplings actually tasted. But let's go ahead and check this out. So this here is the Hokkaido roll, a little bit of of hot sauce up at the top. You have some fish, you have fishy filling. I believe it's tuna that's cooked. But we're gonna go ahead and try this out. Mm. Mm. Wow. Wow, that blew me back. That is really freaking good. Oh my God. You get that little bit of seafood flavor. You taste the tuna. That sambal on the top, it's just like a very small drop of sambal. Oh my God, it takes it to that next level. It's so freaking delicious. Because it, you get that gentle spice and then you get the creaminess from the fish, the tuna, the rice is nice and soft. You get that little bit of fishy taste just ever so slightly. Wow, that, wow. Okay, okay. That makes me feel a lot better because the sushi rolls are pretty expensive for the size, but the taste, is really freaking good. All right, next one we're gonna go ahead and get is this one. It has shrimp tempura, avocado. It also has some sort of hot sauce on the top and some little balls as well as the rice. Let's go ahead and try this out. All right, let's go ahead and dig in, guys. Mm. You know, I'm super disappointed about the dumplings. But these are some of the best sushi rolls I've had in a while. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, so freaking delicious, bro. Mm. Even the buki buki roll with the shrimp tempura and the avocado. The little balls give it this like nuttiness. It's almost like sesame seeds. They're not sesame seeds. I don't know the name and I apologize. Honestly, I left. I thought we had a uh, menu in the car. We didn't. I forgot that I gave it back to the lady. But it gives it like this nutty taste, kind of like sesame seeds. And it tastes so freaking delicious. Wow. I only got two rolls because I'm telling you guys, I will say, if you're coming here, this place is pretty pricey. Um, you know, we, we know other places that are really, really good. They're a lot more affordable. But this is more of a fancy place. So, you know, dress up a little bit when you come because they open up at five. They're open, I think, until like 12 or 11. So it's a good place to go after the parks. And that's what the young lady was telling me that after the parks, it was actually like a really good place for them to go. All right, last but not least, I want to try the miso soup. I'm going to go ahead and just mix it up a little bit because all the miso paste or miso wet to the bottom. Let's go ahead and give it a swirl and give it a taste. Wow. I think I just got unlucky with the, with the dumplings because it tastes terrible because it just tastes like oil. It has good taste, but the overwhelming taste of like greasy oil ruins the entire experience of the dumplings. But everything else I've had here, 
Mm. It's so freaking delicious. You can't, just can't even imagine. Honestly, the taste alone makes this freaking trip worth it. Mm. <clears throat> well guys, I'm gonna finish this up. Super short, super quick video. I was hoping to order a lot more things, but they were so freaking full and it was, it was pretty expensive, so I didn't get a chance to. Plus, I'm on my own, so I didn't want to order a whole bunch of food because I wasn't going to be able to eat it all. And sushi, I mean, taking it home, my wife is at one of the theme parks today. I mean, by the time she gets home, it's going to be really late. It's going to be like two, three hours later. It's just not going to be the same. Definitely, though. Personally, it's really good, but the only way I can justify visiting this place is if you, t if you know, you're at the end of a vacation and you guys have gone out every night and you want to go and do like a really nice restaurant one-on-one -on -one while you're in your trip in Orlando, this is one of the places to go. Definitely. The taste is really good. Don't order the, uh, the, Ebi, uh, the Ebi Gyozas unless you want to risk them being really greasy. But everything else I had was really, really delicious. Guys, thank you so much. It's unfortunate I couldn't sit down in the restaurant today, but I didn't want to drive all the way home and do it because I just feel like some of the places that we've been to, it's actually hurt my experience with the food and, I, and it's sushi, so I didn't want to hurt it because we're pretty far from home right now. So with that said, thank you so much. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you so much for all the new subscribers, but I'll see you guys next weekend. But until next time, let's just keep on eating.